As we saw before, immediately one thing that we can do is do an amplitude extraction over this horizon. And that's what we can do now. And we can add here, so it's already stored seismic data. And it will show, indeed, there seems to be uh, an amplitude anomaly around here. Just going to change here for to another color scale. And indeed, there seems to be this very well-defined anomaly against this fault trace, which is visible here. And then probably another accumulation on the other side of the fault. And this, if we browse around, it does seem to correspond to the flat spots as we see it there. So another way now to understand the extent of this accumulation is to add the contours, the structural contours of this horizon. And we can add that here, contour display. It will create the contours. In this case, it's every in every 20 milliseconds. We want a bit more detail, so we'll double click there. It will open the properties and we'll put five. It will compute and we'll see if indeed this anomaly corresponds to something flat. If it does, it should correspond to a contour. So not perfectly, usually it's not perfect, but there's between something between 520 and 525 seems to correspond this anomaly. And again, closing against the fault.